now to a story you'll see only on nine, and it's because our own crew got caught in a moment that fire crews want to use as a reminder as these temperatures drop. We talked about power outages earlier in our newscast, but one Liberty Township family's quick fix almost turned into a disaster. Evan Milbert on your side live now with why your fireplace may be dangerous even after you get it cleaned. Evan. Well, Tanya, we've got a saying in this business, report the news, don't be it, but sometimes you do just have to stop and help. It's exactly what happened to photographer Andy Overton and I. We were up in Butler County working on that power outage story, and we saw that distinctive orange glow and immediately knew there was trouble. It really is the perfect night, below zero wind chill and power out. Start that whole fireplace up. But Robert Vetter and his family <laughs> Got more than they bargained for Wednesday. It's like a roaring noise. It sounded like thunder coming through. Flames were shooting from the top of his chimney. Nine on your side photographer Andy Overton and I spotted it and pulled over to let Vetter know his alarms were already going off when we got to the door. I appreciate you guys running up here and knocking on the door and saying, you need got to come out here and see this. Liberty Township fire crews didn't have much to do. Just airing the place out, really. But Chief Paul Stump says this is a good reminder, especially on a night so cold when so many lost power. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot. Any, any wood creates creosote, uh, you know, heating and cooling, and, and just depends on how it drafts and things like that. So you, you just basically, you can never be too careful. Vetter just had the chimney cleaned a couple months back. Debris here from what looks like a wasp nest had gotten up in there and put a large wasp's nest and that caught fire and went straight on up the chimney into the catch and was blowing out over the roof. He was quick with an extinguisher and had the fire out fast. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. According to what he said is I did everything right. It's just one of those freak, uh, freak things of nature. And glad we were able to help and it is an important reminder never to leave a fire unattended and luckily tonight there is minimal damage to the house. The vetters and their dogs are actually staying the night. Things are, are just fine there for them. We're live in Mount Adams. I'm Evan Miller, 9 on your side.